All right, this is my carrier, model 38TH060. And my air conditioner quit working yesterday. So uh, it was working fine throughout the day, then all of a sudden it started blowing out hot air. And I came outside and the fan was not spinning on the top here. Things were really kind of warm around here. And uh, the compressor was going, so I could hear there's power to the compressor. So we're gonna go fix it. So uh, the first thing I did was turn off the main power going in here, the 240 volts going in, and taking off the side panel. And uh, the plan is, is it's either the, the motor, the motor that blows the fan, this has got a quarter horsepower motor, or the capacitor. And generally, even if it's, the motor's bad, uh, you want to replace capacitor. And a lot of times bad capacitors can make the motor go bad. So I don't know what's going on. But uh, uh, I'm, the plan is we're going to replace the capacitor. And if that doesn't fix it, then we'll replace the motor. So I'm looking at this capacitor here. This appears to be a uni universal fits-all capacitor. Uh, this has obviously been serviced in the past, and this does not look like the correct part. But uh, the main thing to look at is on the 5 microfarad, uh, and th then it's got 25 and 20 and 5 put together. So basically, uh, uh, according to what I read, this thing takes a 5 microfarad run capacitor and a 55 microfarad capacitor. So, uh, anyway, oh boy, what a mess. Okay, I'm going to try a little experiment, so we'll see if the motor works with a little jump. I'm going to take a little screwdriver and spin the motor by hand, but first, you can hear the thing humming. Uh, I got the, uh, the air conditioner on, and now we'll flip the, the breaker and see what happens. Okay, we can hear the compressor coming on. Motor's not spinning. Let's see if we can give it a, a little boost. No. Oh, there it goes. It's coming on. Look at that. Look at that. There's blown like crazy. So, so there was the test. There was the theory. Uh, it's a, definitely the start capacitor has gone bad. And wonderful miracle, my motor is still working. The phone fan motor is still working. So anyway. Uh, Okay, I googled for the, the capacitor, and the first things that comes up right here, this one right here, and basically it's uh, 55 microfarad plus 5 microfarad, uh, 370 volts. You know, the, since I don't need the, uh, the oval one, the, the mounting bracket's gone, so I can go with a, a round one or an oval one. I just went to Amazon and search for 55 microfarad capacitor. Here's a nice looking uh, round one, 55. So anyway, uh, they certainly have a, a number number of uh, 55 slash five uh, capacitors. Here's the schematic that was on the inside door. Let's take a look at this thing and see if we can figure out what's going on. You remember that big mess, that universal capacitor with all those stupid uh, uh, things on there? Let's take a look. Here's the, the capacitor they show here. They show a dual capacitor. And you can see that there's a C, and that has yellow, 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 yellow. It looks like it has four wires on the C. And then going up, we have the H, and the H has blue, blue, blue. Looks like it has three blue wires going to it. And then the bottom, we have uh, the F. So F, uh, which stands for fan, this goes to FM, fan motor. It's got one brown wire here. And going back on the parts placement, we can see where it shows a, an oval uh, dual capacitor with H, C, and F. Okay, the new capacitor showed up. And uh, we ordered it next day. Let's take a look at the top of it. You can see how there's a one that says fan which is the one that we use, the Herm, which goes to the compressor, and a C, common. Okay, here's the old universal one-size-fits-all capacitor. And we can see on the five microfarad thing, we got a brown wire. That's obviously going to the fan. 
And then we've got another terminal that's got uh, two blue wires, and they're connected together along with some jumpers for a bunch of other things. And then in the very middle, we can see there's three yellow wires all connected together, and that's the common. So anyway, uh, we're gonna hook up our new capacitor now. She's all hooked up, it was just that easy. You can see all the, the yellows are going to common, the brown is going to fan, and the two blue wires are going to herm. And uh, everything should work. Okay, I turned the thermostat to cool, and you hear that buzzing. That buzzing is from the AC contactor, from the, the 24 volts. And I ordered a new AC contactor, I'm gonna replace it, and they start buzzing, that can't be a good sign. So the, they're only $12, I'll put a new one on there. So let's just see what happens when I turn the power on. Everything looks good. Cool.